Good evening, boxing world, and welcome to another edition of Fantasy Bout Hour, the channel dedicated to bringing you fantasy matchups on a regular basis. If there's a particular matchup that you want me to cover, please leave it in the comment section, and I promise to honor your request. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell notification. Um, the fight that I'll be bringing to you in this video comes by way of requests. It's a good one, and it's coming from Brandon Lamb. I thank you for your request, and I thank you for participating in the channel. Uh, the fight that Brandon mentioned is a good one that would take place at middleweight in my mind, and that is Mike the Body Snatcher McCollum versus Marvelous Marvelin Hagler. Um, what a great one. Not the easiest one to analyze because both of these guys were so tough. Both of these guys fought the best of the best. I mean, they fought anybody who was put in front of them and they gave their all anytime they was in the ring. Of course, Marvelous Marvin Hagler um, was a member of the, the Fabulous Four. Um, and they fought, they all fought each other, which was a beautiful thing. Um, so uh, Marvelous Marvin Hagler, was as tough as nails. Um, he was a southpaw, um, probably the best southpaw in the history of boxing. Um, I realize that's debatable because there were so many great southpaws. Um, but Marvin Hagler, he got it done. He got it done. Um, Mike McCullum, um, he fought in several weight divisions and he fought everybody that was anybody um, from Julian Jackson to James Tony to Roy Jones Jr and the list goes on and on but he fought he fought anybody everybody that was anybody and so um mike mccullum he had skills um he had a great jab great overhand right great head movement and he had good straight snapping punches and not to mention that legendary body shot i mean he lived up to his name the body snatcher um, so, um, great fighter, great fighter, tough fighter. Marvin Hagler was a great tough fighter as well. Um, South Paul um, put pressure on his opponents. Um, would get in there, he would dig in, dig to the body, go up to the head. I mean, tough fighter. So um, this is truly a battle of the tough guys. Um, but when it comes down to it, I feel that for some reason that Mike McCollum was more focused. Um, he stuck to the game plan more. Um, and he just, he was more consistent. Um, one thing I didn't like about Marvelous Marvin Hagler, if I'm being honest, is the switch hitting. Um, for some reason, I'm not a big fan of a lot of switch hitting. I mean, if you're a good southpaw, fight out of the southpaw stance. Um, if you're a good conventional fighter, fight out of the conventional stance. With that being said, Marvelous Marvin Hagler had the better hand speed, a more precise punching, and the better punch placement. Um, so um, he placed his punches better. Um, he got to the target a lot faster than Mike McCollum did. And so I think this fight comes down to who would do better down the stretch. And for some reason, I feel that Mike McCollum would do better down the stretch. Um, you know, like I said, he's more consistent. Um, he sticks to the game plan a lot more, um, didn't seem to get frustrated. You know, and that his signature body punches, you know, is always a plus. It's always an advantage. Um, I feel that this fight would be very close, um, but for some reason, I just see Mike, the body snatcher, McCullum edging it by unanimous decision i take that back by split decision that's my final answer mike the body stature mccullum takes it by split decision um, close split decision so um let me know what you think and i will see you on the next video